did you go from a guy tweeting about his dad to something viral? Like, what was the, what, how did it begin and then how did it take off and become a, you know, go from your 200 followers to whatever million followers? Well, it was originally, uh, I think for the first like two weeks I had zero people. Uh, I had one one day, but it was just like a porn bot. <laughs> and, uh, and then it went away. But uh, it was, it, it, it somehow caught on, like maybe a couple hundred people saw it. And then uh, Rob Cordry, the comedian, uh, he saw it and he had like a million people following it. And he, he wrote something nice about it. I can't remember what he said, but it was really nice. And uh, the next day it was like a thousand people. And then it was like every time I refreshed it, it was like a hundred more people. And by the end of three days, it was like at a hundred thousand. And so it just sort of went crazy. And then it got it on a bunch of sort of uh, sites that were social media, like sharing, like dig.com back when dig was dig. And, uh, and it kind of just exploded and it took off from there. And, and I think within maybe a month, I was at a million, I think. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> I think you'll hear it is just a recurring theme in general for everything that we're going to be talking about today or tonight. Uh, authenticity. Yeah. Just in, in whatever way you engage with your audience, whatever tools you use, it, whether you are trying to sell something or not sell something, you have to be authentic about what you're doing and how you're engaging with your audience. And I think to further that point is you really, it's the most critical point to building your brand and social media is to find your voice. It's, you know, what... Being, you need to be authentic and you need to find your voice and stick to it and that was just a perfect example of how you how you stuck to your voice and kept it consistent every time but you know you social media the internet is different than television it's a different medium than medium than television it's a different medium than uh, radio or anything else and there are certain things that are sticky and there are certain things that aren't so if you're going to be working on this on a consistent basis on whatever social platform you work on whether it's YouTube, whether you're on Twitter or on your Facebook page, it's really important that you find the right voice for it that is authentic and sticks to you and you can stick with it throughout the whole, throughout as long as your career goes. 